Good morning, beautiful people. This is Jason Shades, and we're bringing some good music to you this morning. Now, I've done a few um, reactions to this band. It's uh, Jules is Dead. I actually really, really, really like them. They have a lot of talent and a lot of potential. Okay, so I, I definitely want you to go check them out. Please help them out. I mean, right now, I want you to sub to them. Right now, they're at 904. They're at 904 subs. I want you to go out there. Make sure you sub to them. I've got them subbed. Um, I'd love to see them get over the 1,000 mark. Let's start getting them monetized a little bit. Um, you know, a little bit of money for these new bands goes a long, long ways, um, especially if they want to put out new, new and more music. Um, so we're going to check out. Uh, this is uh, Just One Thing, Jules is Dead, featuring Ezra. Now, I did a view on Ezra. This is kind of where I found him. Um, but we're going to definitely check these these two out together. Let's see if they, the collab can work, if the sound's good together. I can't focus with this pounding in my head. Bury my mind because I want to forget too many ghosts drowned in regret. Okay, I got to admit, love the hair. That is such an awesome look for her, you know. Um, but it's got a real ska sound to it. I mean, very ska, very subtle punk, you know, new wave punk, I guess, kind of putting it. Um, but I've noticed that it's always her, but the band seems to change around a lot. And uh, just curious why. Nice onk on her, you know. Now, I, I gotta admit, not my favorite video. I liked the churches and the candles and those type of, of videos that she's done. That those really blow the mind away. Really blow the imagination to go with the music. Um, I mean, maybe it's because this is just a, this is a collab. She had to back off of her style quite a bit and maybe go with their style. I can dig that. I can understand that completely. But yeah, there's a definitely some that they could i like do what you do girl i mean you do it well that's what attracted me to your band is that darkness that you do on screen you gotta you just keep bringing it just keep bringing it and i'll tell you what some of this music you speed it up a little bit make it a little bit more heavy um add more drum add more bass you've got the voice to handle that heavy metal unless a twinge of heavy metal in it absolutely I mean, he's okay, you know, um, his voice definitely meshes with her sound a little bit. Um, he's a little bit more rock than her punk level. Um, he's a little bit more rap than her metal side. See, now these are the scenes I'm liking better with them. The cityscape with the with the uh, tagging of everything. That 
you got to go with your style, honey. You got to keep with your style. I love this look for you, especially with the hair, the background. Put it in black and white. Ooh. Wow, you're going to blow it away. I'm curious, who who is the lead on the writing of it? Because it really feels like this is more him than her on the writing. It just that's what it feels like. I could be wrong, but I'd really like to know who led the writing of the um, the lyrics because it's not doesn't seem like it's her lyrics the way she is. In my, my But fun song. Definitely a fun song. Can't stay still. Can't keep your feet still. I love it. I liked it. it. Very good. Definitely, I liked the tempo, liked the speed, liked that. I don't think it was her enough. I think she's got a much darker soul that could do a lot different, especially metal ish. That's just my opinion. What do I know? But, you know, I think they're definitely smoothing out. I think they're definitely getting improving dramatically. And uh, I really want to see where Jules is dead gets going. Um, I want to see her keep improving and keep it at that level. But with that, you have a good morning. You have a great day. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.